Hey you, welcome to Bless Your Rank. My name is Matt. Today, we are ranking fast food chicken nuggets. Or nugs if you're cool. Chicky nugs, don't do that. Just call them nuggets. Don't fast forward to the end to see what happens. That's cheating. I can tell. We can tell when you skip ahead in the video. We, we can see those numbers and you need to stop. I mean, this is basically like fine literature. It is meant to be enjoyed one page after another. I'm the Bill Shakespeare of fast food. So today is going to be a very interesting day. I have not declared my allegiance yet. I enjoy the cheeky nugs. They are my favorite type of things that end in ug. Nugs, hugs, pugs, and in uh, 257th place, uh, uggs, the boot. Drugs if it's my uh, heartburn medication. My ranking system, here's what it is, uh, even though I don't always stick to it. I make this up as I go along, folks. Have you not figured that out yet? Number one, taste, because it's, it's about food. Obviously, that's how you taste food. I really don't know what else we need to do other than taste. It's not a beauty contest. Chicken nuggets are like people. They come in all shapes and sizes and colors, and they are all beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, we're not doing sauce here. Sauce changes the game. Full disclosure, I'm not really a uh, dipping nuggets into sauce kind of guy. You know why? Because I'm usually eating nuggets while I'm driving. Have you ever tried to dip and sauce and drive down a back road, potholes everywhere. It's just not, it's not gonna work. Don't sauce and drive. Sauce from the comfort of your own home where no one can see you. All right, here we go. Competitor number one, KFC, also known as Kentucky Fried Chicken. I've never had KFC nuggets before. I did not know until today that KFC even had chicken nuggets. But I'm understanding is that some of these places call them popcorn chicken. I don't, why are we calling it popcorn chicken? What, because I could just put it in my mouth. Nuggets are the same thing. You can eat a nugget in one bite. If you can't eat a nugget in one bite, it is a small chicken tender. There's a classification system, look it up. I didn't, I didn't write it, it's been, it's been there for decades. I, I learned about it in, in school. I like the presentation. I thought you could maybe fit this in a cup holder. Oh yeah, I feel like you could put a little bow on this and give this as a present. Look at that. Also, fun, if you, uh, once you get it in your mind that the bolo tie that Colonel Sanders is wearing is actually his arms and his leg, you can never unsee that. Look at that, that's his tiny little arm and that's his tiny little leg. I've ruined that for you now, and you're welcome. That will haunt your dreams now. Hey, let's eat it, that's enough talking. This is basically nugget, this is nugget size. It's weird to call this popcorn chicken. It's not bad. It kind of tastes like chicken I could just make at home. And I'm quickly reminded why I don't like popcorn chicken. Because there are these tiny pieces here that are too small to have any chicken meat whatsoever in it. This is just a fried ball. Let me hear you out. Some people are gonna say that's the best part. The only time excess fried batter with no meat on it whatsoever is acceptable is at Captain D's. And those are called cracklins and they're delicious. Uh, they're okay. I mean, they're better than I thought they'd be. And right now, KFC is number one because they're the only one that I've had yet. Don't uh, smile too much there, Colonel Sanders, because that won't last. Kind of makes me sad to put KFC first in anything. They're not first place in anything at all, except weird commercials. Competitor number two, Sonic. Another place that I did not realize at Chicken Nuggets. These are massive. It's about human eyeball size. Those of you who have held a human eyeball in your hand, you can relate. You'll know exactly the size I'm talking about. There's nothing popcorn about that. There's, I've never had a piece of popcorn that's this big. That's some genetically modified monster corn. For, for too long in this country, we've had no standard of what is a chicken nugget, what is popcorn chicken, what is chicken tenders, and I'm, I'm tired of it. I want, I want us to define what that is. I don't know what organization does that, but get on it, because this is not popcorn chicken. Oops, it's actually really good. Oh man, I was not expecting that. I've been sleeping on Sonic Nuggets. I've been getting that foot long cheese coney, and this is where it's been at. This is a good chunk of chicken right here. What size is this? They're called jumbo popcorn. Okay. Oh, they call them jumbo popcorn. That's nuggets. A large popcorn chicken becomes a chicken nugget. You can't call them jumbo popcorn chicken. I don't, that, now I hate them. Now I just hate them because of the way they, what they call them. The chicken nugget game is the wild west right now. Just anything goes. Apparently you can just call them whatever you want. Okay, I'm done eating these. Uh, after much uh, deliberation, I think that Sonic, out of the two, has the best chicken nuggets. They were delicious, actually. It made me rethink my whole order at Sonic, and I've been doing it all wrong. Our third competitor, ba da ba da da, McD on Al's, or if you're from the country, McDonald's. I'll say this about McDonald's. Of all the chicken nuggets that we're gonna eat here today, they, they're, they're right there with the nuggets that I've had the most. 
There are only so many shapes of McNuggets. Like they're basically, they, they go through the McNugget cookie cutter, I, I think. They have names? Okay, so apparently there are four basic McNugget shapes and they all have names. And now my producer is aware of what they are called and I'm going to guess them. This one right here. This is either the guitar pick or the Millennium Falcon. The bell? If our Liberty Bell looked like this, uh, we would still belong to Great Britain. This, I call this, uh, this is the boot. The boot, I got it right? Whoa. Batting 500, there you go. This is uh, just a, uh, almost a perfect circle. This is called the moon pie. What is this called? The circle. The ball? I wouldn't, I would not, I'd be really careful referring to shapes of McNuggets and say, oh, that's the ball. I'd just be real careful there. The, I, don't, I don't know what this, this is like um, the trapezoid, the sheepdog, the, the fat buffalo. What? This one has a spot on it. This one should probably go see a dermatologist to get that checked out. Or my mouth. Ow. He's got cold. They're not great. Still pretty good though. Oh wait, this, this is the first one that I can count. There's supposed to be 10 McNuggets in this box. One is in my belly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They did it. Although uh, I'm not so sure about this one. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little shocked right now. These are not, these are not better compared to like Sonic that I don't think I've ever had before. They're just not as good. I think that they're better than KFCs. I do want to point out to McDonald's though that go to wherever you're making this, highlight the text, then go up to font and press down size twice. Then it will all fit. You won't keep having this problem. Okay. Second, second place, I feel, I feel, I feel all right about this. McDonald's. Competitor number four is Wendy's. This is, uh, this is a lot of chicken. Did you check, what if they gave you the wrong order? Barbecue sauce. Uh, and it's cut open like with a razor blade. Whoa. This is a, this was a message from Wendy for how we treated her in the burger ranking. So what, uh, Wendy's, oh! It looks like Wendy stole the McNugget cookie cutter. That's a cowboy boot. That's a fancy cowboy boot. This is the kind of boot you show off. You put these on, you're like, I'm going to a Brooks and Dunn concert. And you do that right there. You shimmy shake right there, just like that. I wonder who they got opening for them. How many, okay, how many of these are supposed to be in here? A 10 piece. Well then, let's, let's check Wendy's work here. Let's check her math. One, two, four, five, nine, 10. That's a, you, you, that's a generous 10. I don't ever like crave nuggets and go to Wendy's. I go to Wendy's, I'm gonna get a Frosty. Some people are all about the chicken nuggets at Wendy's, probably because you could get a four of them for 99 cents. It's a pretty good deal. It's not bad. This is super salty. Okay, they're not, they're not offensive. I wouldn't go crazy about these. I wouldn't say, oh ma'am, I just got the best nugs ever from Wendy's. Probably because I would not use nugs in a, in a sentence in casual conversation. Okay, putting these back in the container because I don't want to look at them anymore. For some reason, they're much sadder when you lay them out on a napkin. This is the most vanilla of the McNuggets I've had today. And it's not a bad thing. I don't care for them. I don't feel like they're, they're number one by any means. There's apparently spicy nuggets now at Wendy's. That would be delicious. But I'm not ranking the spicy nuggets here today. I'm ranking your straight up regular classic chicken nuggets. And these are just fine. If someone tells you, what did you have to eat today? They're just like, I only ate Wendy's chicken nuggets. That's a cry for help. You are the freezer section dinosaur nuggets of the fast food world. You're in fourth place. Please don't roast me on Twitter, Wendy. I'm too fragile. All right, number f five, five, Chick-fil-A. That's how you know uh, we do not film these videos on Sunday. I don't, I don't order these, and here's why. You don't order chicken nuggets at a place that serves chicken tenders. It's just bad math. I have a feeling that if we count this out right now and there's not eight, a Chick-fil-A employee will bust through this ceiling uh, and it will bring down fresh nuggets to make up for their mistake. They'll know. One, two, three, although that looks like seahorse and not chicken. Five, six, seven, eight. What is going on here? This is like fried artwork. This looks like uh, Adam and, and God reaching out. Like that's what this looks like. It looks like the Sistine Chapel. So I can't even be mad at that. This is art. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. I'd walk in here today and I'd say, this is gonna be a level playing field. They've all got a chance. And then take a bite of that Chick-fil-A and it just tastes different. It just tastes a little bit like real chicken. I think that might be the secret. All right, I'm gonna stop eating. Oh, not really. Okay. It takes a long time to chew them because it's real chicken. 
It's not processed chicken. They've already, somebody chewed for you. Look at this. Even the receipt that I can't show you right now has got everything on this first and last name on the bag. I can tell you all about your day from this Chick-fil-A receipt right here. You're going to get it outside. You were driving a white crossover. You were in zone five. Register 40 rang you up. Your total was 439. It was 151. They told you, uh, my pleasure, 11 times. And someone named Susan prayed over this meal, and you were added to Fultondale First Baptist prayer list. All of that I got from this receipt. The whole thing. I, I, I knew this would not be fair. It's not fair to Chief Lake calls these nuggets while everybody else calls theirs nuggets too. It's a completely different league. It's like professional baseball against minor leagues and then T-ball over here. Right now, this is not even close. Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets are in first place. Competitor number six, our last entry into the competition, Burger King. Uh, and it is a, this is a hefty bag. Burger King has never done well in anything ever. Uh, no, 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 Bless your rank burgers. They did, they have a Whopper. It's delicious. Let's count them, should be 10 in a bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine. That's the most Burger King thing. Anissa, did you eat a Burger King nugget? <laughs> what is what are these numbers for? What kind of secret code is this? So there's chicken with a six, chicken with a ten, which uh, is what we ordered, and then numbers one through twelve. What is the secret code? If I solve this code, do I become the Burger King? Is this how you become the heir to the Burger Throne? I'm not even excited about these. These just look sad. Here we go, Burger King. Rock my world. Okay, something is becoming very apparent to me. Burger King and Wendy got together apparently and said, how do we make the most blandest chicken nugget and make it as cheap as possible? And this is the product they came up with. I mean, they're just identically mediocre. These serve as nothing more than ways to move sauce from the container to your mouth. These are just edible spoons. A, a chicken died for this. A chicken that could have been fried chicken, chicken wings, chicken tenders, could have been a Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A could have done so much more with this chicken. See that? See that little chick right there? He deserved better. He didn't die for this. This is also going to be impossible to stick the. F it's it's in last place. If you uh, really needed me to tell you that, it's not terrible, but it's not good. It's sufficient. This should not be. They should not call them chicken nuggets. They should be called sufficient chicken. What did we learn today? We learned that uh, I do have a favorite chicken nugget, after all, and it's Chick-fil-A, because they're the only place up here that's actually serving things that taste like real chicken. I learned that Sonic's Jumbo Popcorn Chicken, while the name infuriates me, uh, it's actually pretty tasty. McDonald's chicken nuggets, it just tastes like childhood. These down here are okay. Wendy's, Burger King, uh, they're sufficient chicken, and that's uh, good enough for most people. So there you go. Happy uh, nuggeting. I don't know. Enjoy your nuggets. Share. Sharing is caring. Uh, and sauce responsibly. Don't sauce and drive. Do nugs, not drugs. Peace out, homies.